Special thanks to Patreon supporter Jarek Barnes for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Gertie here bringing you another Minecraft Cold War vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the Convair B-58 Hustler. The Convair B-58 Hustler is a high-speed bomber design and produced by American aircraft manufacturer Convair. It was the first operational bomber capable of Mach 2 flight. The B-58 was developed during the 1950s for the United States Air Force Strategic Air Command. To achieve the high speed desired, Convair designed it around a large delta wing which was used, also used by contemporary fighters such as the Convair F-102. It was powered by four General Electric J-79 engines and underwing pods. It had no bomb bay, but it carried a single uh, nuclear weapon plus fuel and a combination bomb slash fuel pod underneath the fuselage. Later, four external hard points were added, enabling it to carry up to five weapons. The B-58 was introduced uh, to service in March 1960 and was operated by two uh, bomb wings. It was considered to be a difficult aircraft to fly, imposing a high workload upon its three-man crews. Replacing the Boeing B-47 Stratojet strategic bomber, the B-58 was originally designed or intended to fly at high altitudes and supersonic speeds to avoid Soviet interceptors. The B-58 became notorious for its sonic boom, which was often heard on the ground by the public as it passed overhead in supersonic flight. Following the introdu introduction of highly accurate Soviet surface-to-air missiles, the B-58 was forced to adopt a low-level penetration role that severely limited its range and strategic value. It was never used to deliver conventional bombs. The B-58 was substantially more expensive to operate than any other bomber, such as the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress, Fortress, and required more uh, frequent aerial refueling. The B-58 also suffered from a high rate of accidental losses. All of this led to a relatively brief operational career of 10 years. The B-58 was succe succeeded in its role by the similar swing wing uh, FB-111A. So uh, yeah, the Convair B-58 Hustler, um, a really gorgeous looking uh, aircraft and one I didn't really know too much about until actually building this and designing it and all that stuff and researching it a bit. Um, had a really short service life as I mentioned, only serving about 10 years. It was officially retired in January 31st, 1970. And which is kind of crazy. It was introduced in 1960 and retired in 1970. Very short service life for this aircraft. Um, this aircraft overall is really interesting design. Um, the egress system for the crew is really unique for it. Um, it basically has these pods that would basically wrap around the um, basically the crew, and it would eject them in these pods. And it's kind of wild. <laughs> you can look it up for yourself and see it, but it's pretty interesting. Um, I think the aircraft itself came out really good, and I'm overall really excited with the overall look for it, and I think you guys will all enjoy it as well. Before we go and dive into the tutorial, I want to go and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Jarek Barnes for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more you guys already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you can go and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and earn a vehicle request of your choosing, depending on which tier you decide to sub to. Um, it helps me out a lot. The channel supports my work and all that stuff, and you earn a vehicle request of your choosing every month, so definitely feel free to check it out. Again, link is always in my video descriptions. Anyways, let's go and check out the aircraft. Obviously, we have both the in-flight and landed versions available, so we will have uh, basically both in this tutorial. Uh, to begin with, we're going to be taking a look just at the landed version. Um, in-flight version is pretty much exactly the same, except for the um, lack of landing gear. Um, start off with, we have the nose here, um, kind of the iconic cam or paint scheme of a kind of a black tip nose that flows into the cockpit, and then uh, basically a solid gray, um, kind of more of like that silver, um, kind of chrome color. Uh, but unfortunately, we don't really have a block to mimic that too well, so that's what we have here. Um, we got basically the detailing all around here for it, uh, you know, pretty straightforward stuff. A um, little color here for the squadron, had kind of like a little like band um, color depending on what squadron it belonged to. Um, then as we continue back, we have obviously the cockpit here for the pilot. Moving uh, back continued, we have the kind of uh, logo they put on the side of U.S. aircraft um, on the side here. Continuing on back, these uh, top portions here are where the hatches would open up for the egress system for the kind of weapons officer and the defense um, officer, I believe. There were, I believe those were the two positions I would see, sit back here. And really this position seems to suck. I mean, all they had was these tiny little slits here for windows. And it um, seems like a really kind of claustrophobic sp spot to actually be in. So kind of a weird setup here for the crew, um, you know, setup. So that's right there. As we continue back, we get into our huge delta wings, which has the uh, engines, so two on each side, and um, they look really nice there. And we also have all the detail in here on the top of the wing, U.S. Air Force written on the side of the fuselage, and we flow back here to the tail. We have the tail number, um, all the detail around here. And one interesting thing I actually found was 
there's actually a minigun um, station in the back here for, I guess, uh, rear defense on the aircraft, which, again, kind of going off that Cold War um, idea of where they were still having these, like, miniguns and stuff equipped on, or, like, tail guns and stuff like that equipped, even though they were kind of kind of useless. But, yeah, that was a, that's an interesting little thing there on the back, which I didn't realize until I actually saw a close-up picture. Uh, underneath here, we have the huge pot I was talking about. This is used to carry fuel and also uh, nuclear bombs, so uh, it would house both in this huge um, tube right here. And this is also a later version that includes the addition of hard points here on the sides, uh, which add some extra armaments, so we have some more kind of bombs or uh, something of that sort located on the side, on the bottom of the wings there, which um, I thought would be a nice thing to include. Um, overall, a really nice looking aircraft. I think it came out really good, and I think it's going to be an awesome addition to any of your um, Cold War era bases or just a fun bomber to have flying around in some kind of scene or something. Anyways, that's it for this overview. Let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our first set of layers, we're going to be going ahead and beginning with layers 1 and 2. Now, uh, before we go and get started, I want to go ahead and cover a few things for this tutorial. First is, if you are uh, new to my tutorials, the way I like to structure these aircraft tutorials is I like to do half on camera and half off. What this means is I'll be building the whole right side and center line of the aircraft. It'll be up to you guys in between layers to copy what we do on one side over to the air side. It's pretty straightforward and once we do the first few layers, it'll kind of make a little bit more sense and you guys will be able to get the hang of it pretty easily. Um, this aircraft is completely symmetrical, so whatever we do on one side will be done on the other side. And if there's any differences, which I for sure don't think there is, I will be sure to mention those in the video. Um, anyways, um, also if you do want to build the landed version, we will be building this aircraft as if it's in flight to begin with, and then we'll be modifying it to put the landing gear on. So just kind of throwing that out there. Um, to make sure that we build this correctly, for those that want to build this landed, uh, you will need to make sure that you start this layer, layer 2 here, with this polished anti block, one block of space from the ground, and we have a row of black uh, wool here representing the ground level. Very important, again, if you build it too high, too low, it's not going to sit properly on the ground. Um, anyways, with that out of the way, we can go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to place down a polished anisite full block. We're then going to place down one and two polished anisite top slabs forward, followed by two iron trap doors, like that coming off the front there. Once that's done, we want to go ahead and take our polished anisite blocks. We're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen polished anisite blocks back, followed by a polished anisite top slab. Uh, we're going to skip a space and then place down an iron trap door on the top portion of the block like so. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go to our next row out to the side here. And we're going to go ahead and place down a polished anisite top slab, come off this polished anisite full block, followed by a second top slab back. We then want to take our upside down polished anisite stairs and we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 polished anisite upside down stairs, followed by 1 and 2 polished anisite top slabs. With that done, we're going to go, ahead and go to the side of the last two polished anisite top slabs, and we're going to place down one, two, three uh, stone stairs to go back like that. When that's done there, we're going to go and drop down from these stone stairs out to the side, and we're going to place down two stone top slabs like so. And with that done right there, that is going to complete layer number one and two, and that right there is going to set up the bottom layer here for our giant uh, fuel slash uh, bomb pod on the bottom of the fuselage. And again, here's what it looks like from up above. Obviously, take what we did over here on the right side, flip it over to the left side, and you should get something that looks like this for this layer. Anyways, that right there is going to wrap up layers one for two. Let's go and move on to our next layer, layer number three. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go ahead and place down a polished anisite full block on top of this iron trap door up here in the front. From that polished anisite full block, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, and three blocks back, so it should end on top of this last polished anisite top slab here for row four polished anisite. Coming off the front here, we're going to place down an anisite wall, followed by a skeleton skull like that coming off the tip. After that, we're going to go, to go to the side of these two polished anisite blocks, we're going to place down two skeleton skulls, and then one and two anisite walls back from the skeleton skulls. After that's done, we're going to take our polished anisite, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen polished anisite blocks here along the sides. With that done, we're going to go to the center, and in the center space here, we're going to take our stone, and we're going to fill in the stone the same length. So going back from the polished anisite blocks there, row of 18 stone blocks like that down the center. After that row of 18 uh, stone blocks, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3 polished anisite blocks, followed by 1 and 2 anisite walls, and then skeleton skull coming off the tip there. 
But then you're going to go ahead and go to the side of these these two polished anti blocks here and place down two polished anti walls, or sorry, just two anti walls, and then a skeleton skull on both sides of this polished anti block here on the end. Also on the bottom here, there should be an iron trap door on the bottom of this block as well, so we're just going to go and throw that on as a small addition. Nothing too crazy there. And obviously, what we did over here on the right side, you're going to take you over to the left side, and you'll have, again, your bomb pod here in the middle game built up. However, when we get to this point here, we are actually going ahead and building the first part of our inner engines. So for this, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab some blocks, something that you can defer away from the build and easy to tell um, that you so we can do it, lead it later. We're going to go ahead and do this last polished anti block on the back of the bomb pod here. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six blocks to the side here. Same thing over here, one, two, three, four, five, and six out to the side. We're going to go ahead and then take our nether brick. We're going to place down another brick block here on the end followed by one narrow brick top slab back from it. So two narrow brick top slabs like so. Once that's done, we're gonna take our polished data site and we're gonna place down one and two polished data site blocks going forward. Or sorry, two polished data site top slabs. We're then gonna place down an iron trap door on both sides of this polished data site top slab. And from that point there, we're gonna go ahead and place down a polished data site block like so, and then a top slab to both sides of this block like that. After that, we're gonna place down a narrow polished data site block here in the middle. Polish dance side upside down stair to both sides, and we're gonna do the same thing again. Polish dance side block, polish dance side upside down stair again to both sides. Uh, once that's done, we're gonna go and place down a stone block in the middle here, followed by a stone upside down stair to both sides. And then from that, we're gonna place down a stone upside down stair coming off that stone block, and then one and two top sides going forward. And on the both sides of this stone upside down stair, we're gonna place down an iron trap door like that. So looking at it from above, we should have something that looks like that for our engine pod on the side there, and we should have something that looks like this uh, once you transfer the engine pod over to the other side and again here's what the bottom looks like of those pods again pretty straightforward and everything like that anyways that's it for what we have here for this layer you can go and delete any wool lines or anything like that that you set up like that for measuring and we should have this for the final product of the layer anyways that right there is going to wrap up layer number three with that let's move into layer number four Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number 4. For layer 4 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to be going ahead and placing down an iron trap door on this polished anti block here in the front, followed by a stone slab going back from it, and then a stone stair. From the back of that stone stair, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, uh, stone blocks back. I'm going to just double check my count here to make sure I didn't mess anything up. And in total, we have yep, a row of 18 stone full blocks. We're going to place down a stone stair on the back here, followed by a stone slab. And then we want to place down a iron trap door coming off that stone slab. We're going to go ahead and skip a space, and on top of this anti wall, we're going to place down a stone or an iron trap door with a like gray banner coming off the iron trap door, like so, on the back there. And that's going to be there for our center line. Moving out to the sides here, we're going to go ahead and go back up to the front here. We're going to go ahead and go off the, the second stone block. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone slab at the side, followed by a second stone slab back from it. We're going to take stone stairs, place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 stone stairs back, followed by 1 and 2 stone slabs back after that. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go off of these stone slabs here. We're going to place down a two stone upside down stairs, followed by 1 and 2 more back, like that for the fins here. Or the stabilizers on this middle pod here. Once that's done, um, we're going to go ahead and also add on the uh, external bombs here that are mounted onto the um, fuselage. Now these are optional. If you do not want to add these, you don't have to, but um, I think more bombs, more better type stuff. So um, definitely think it's a cool addition, kind of spices up the build a little bit, but it's up to you guys. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the third stair uh, from last on this bomb pod. We're going to place down a place sort of block to the side here. Coming off of it, we're going to place down an acacia wood slab and then an acacia wood trap door going toward the front. And then we can go ahead and then delete that block. So again, here's what it looks like for um, the first one right there. And then coming to the back here, we want to go ahead and very simply go back from this uh, stone stair. We're going to go ahead and count one, two, and three blocks back. We're going to place down an acacia wood trap door. Or actually, uh, let's go ahead and go four red wool blocks back. And then we're going to place down an acacia wood top slab to both sides of that fourth block, and then we're going to place down an acacia wood trapdoor going forward of it like that. And then we can go ahead and then delete those blocks, and we should get something that looks like this on the back here for the fins of those bombs mounted onto the side of the fuselage. With that complete, we're going to go ahead and now focus our attention here to our engine pods. So for our engine pods here, uh, we're going to be going ahead and building up the um, first one here, which is going to be very simple. We're just going to place down a black 
a concrete block on top of the stone top slab, followed by an andesite wall to both sides of that block, and then one andesite block forward. We're going to place down skeleton skull, or a wither skeleton skull coming off this black concrete block, and then an end rod like that coming off of it toward the front there. When that's done, we're going to be going ahead and taking our stone blocks. We're going to place down one, two, and three stone blocks across. We're then going to place down a second row three of stone blocks. We then want to switch to our polished andesite blocks, and we're going to place down a row of four or three of polished andesite, followed by a second row of three, a third row, and a fourth row of three of polished andesite. We then want to place down a polished andesite block here in the middle, andesite wall to both sides, and then we're going to place down a black concrete block here in the middle. Now, coming off this black concrete block, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a stone button and also to the sides a narrow brick wall. So, narrow brick wall to both sides, stone button in the middle, and then a narrow brick wall going back from those walls, just like that. Once uh, that's finished there, we have our inner engine pods, and we're going to be now building out to the side here to go ahead and build our outer ones. So for our outer ones here, uh, we're going to be going ahead and going to the narrow brick wall here on our engine pods. We're going to go ahead and count one, two, three, and four spaces out to the side. So we're going to go and do the same thing over here, one, two, three, and four. Now on our fifth uh, space out to the side, we can go ahead and place down a stone top slab, just like that, followed by a second stone top slab back, and then we're going to go and place down a stone upside down stair like so. And then on both sides of the stone upside down stair, we're going to be placing down a iron trap door, like that. And then uh, once that's complete there, we're going to go ahead and then place down a nether stone uh, full block, just like that. We're going to place down a stone upside down stair to both sides. We're going to go ahead and then place down a polished andesite block in the middle here, followed by a polished andesite upside down stair on both sides. Um, after that, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a, another row, just like this. So, polished andesite block in the middle, and side upside down stair to both sides. We then want to place down another polished andesite block here in the middle, polished andesite top side to both sides, and then we're going to place down one and two polished andesite top sides that go back, iron trap doors to both sides, and then we want to go ahead and place down uh, two narrow brick slabs that go back. So, we're going to go ahead and place down one and two narrow brick top slabs back, just like that. And once that's all finished there, um, that's going to pretty much finish off your outer engines like so. So it's basically the same design we did for the previous layer inner engines. And we can go and delete any markers or anything like that we did to build out to the sides here. And looking at it from above, we should have something that looks like this so far. We have the outlines of our engines, the center pod's pretty much complete, and everything's looking good so far. Anyways, that right there is going to complete uh, layer number uh, five of the build. With that, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number six. Alright guys, so moving on to our next layer, we actually are now moving on to layer 5. Um, so my bad got a little mixed up with my layers there. No big deal though. Um, anyways, for this layer, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down an iron trap door on top of this stone block right here. And then going back from the iron trap door, we're going to place down a stone stair, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And as that walls back, and then a stone stair on the back here. With that done, we're going to go ahead and now move on to our... Uh, missiles here we have on the sides. So for this we're gonna go and go kind of over toward the fuselage like this up from the from the um, Acacia wood slab like so and we want to go and then place down a skeleton skull That is going to be coming off of the Polished or the quartz block going back like this and then we want to go and then place down a end rod coming off of like that for the back there When that's done, we're gonna go and then take our quartz blocks. We're gonna go one two three and four blocks forward, so you have a row of five here. We're going to go and place down a direct wall on the end here and a skeleton skull like so. With that done, we're going to go ahead and take stone buttons and we're going to place down stone buttons here on the bottom of this quartz block and also the sides here. So we're going to go ahead and place down stone buttons here on both sides of this middle quartz block and also on the bottom like so. We're going to go and then go to the back here and now build up this uh, these bombs here. So for these ones, we're going to go into the space in between the acacia wood top slabs. So we're going to go up from them like this. Like we did for the previous one, a skeleton skull off the back here. A end rod coming off that skeleton skull. And then going forward, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four. Quartz full blocks, die right wall, and then a skeleton skull. So you have the row five of quartz, die right wall, skeleton skull like that, just like the previous bomb up there. And then we want to go and take stone buttons and around the bottom and side of the middle block. We're going to place down stone buttons wrapped around it like so. We also want to grab ourselves some stone slabs. And for the stabilizers here, for the, the uh, main pod here, we're going to place down a stone slab coming off this die right wall. And one there to the side there, just like that. And that right there, we'll kind of finish our center pod and all that fun stuff. So that's cool. Um, with that done, we're going to go and move into our engines to the sides here. So for this, we're going to go, and go up from this 
Um, Wither Skeleton Score to place down a stone slab, fall by a second stone slab back, and then a third one. We want to go ahead and go to both sides of the third stone slab, and we're going to place down the iron trap door to both sides. After that, we're going to go and take our stone blocks. We're going to place down a row of one, two, and three stone blocks back. On both sides of the first stone block, we're going to place down a stone slab. On the sides of these two stone blocks here, we're going to place down two polished andesite slabs. Once that's done in the middle here, we're going to place down two polished andesite blocks back, a stone block here on the end, and then we want to take our nerebrick slabs and we're going to place down one and two nerebrick slabs back like that. And also on both sides of this first polished andesite block here, we're going to place down an iron trap door to both sides, just like that. Once that's done, go into our outer engines. Uh, we're going to go ahead and basically build up the engines as like we did for this uh, for the inner ones here. So we're going to place down a black concrete block on top of the stone top slab, uh, wither skeleton skull coming off of it forward, and then an end rod like that. We then want to go ahead and take our polished anisite, or just our anisite walls, and we're going to place down an anisite wall to the side of the black concrete block, and one like that to the side there. After that, we're going to take our stone blocks, we're going to place down a row of three of stone blocks across, followed by a second row of three. We're then going to take our polished anisite, we're going to place down a total of four rows of three, of polished anisite full blocks, going all the way across here. When we get to this section back here, we're going to place down a polished anisite block in the middle here, followed by an anisite wall to both sides, and then in the middle uh, space here on top of that narrow brick top side, we're going to place down a black concrete block, stone bun coming off of it, and then our nether brick walls on both sides of the black concrete block, and then one more that goes back from each of those walls. So you get something that looks like that. And just like that, that's it for this layer. Here's what it looks like from up above so far. As you can see, starting to get more of um, the engines built up, and we should be getting into the fuselage actually in this uh, next layer. Anyways, that right there is it for layer number five. With that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number six. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number six. For layer six to go ahead and get started with here, we want to go ahead and go to this stone stair that's on the kind of connecting piece, I guess you can say the pylon here where the giant uh, fuel tank and bomb pod connects up to. So we're going to go ahead and go to this stone stair here, we're going to go ahead and go up from it, place down a stone block, and then we're going to go ahead and go one, two, three, and four blocks forward. After that we're going to place down a red concrete block, followed by one, two, and three stone blocks forward. We're then going to take our black concrete, we're going to place down one, two, and three black concrete blocks, followed by four and five. We're then going to place down a narrow brick ups and down stair after your fifth black concrete block, followed by a narrow brick top slab, one and two uh, dark oak wood fence gates, and one, two, and three end rods like that for the very tip there of the nose. Once that's done, we're going to go back to this stone block here above this stair, and we want to go, and go back from it toward the rear of the plane now. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, and twenty-three stone blocks back, followed by one, two, three, and four stone top slabs and an iron trap door here on the very back, like so. With that done, going ahead and going back up to the front. We're going to go and take our Wither Skeleton Skulls. We're going to place down Wither Skeleton Skull on both sides of this narrow brick up sound stair, followed by one and two nether brick walls back along the side here. After that's done, we want to go and then take our narrow brick stairs. We're going to place down one, two, and three nether brick up sound stairs, followed by what is going to be a row of two of stone up sound stairs. So one and two stone up sound stairs, and then a stone full block. We then want to place down a red concrete block like that. And we're going to go and then place down a dark oak wood button on both sides of the red concrete block. And then we're going to place down a row of three here across the bottom of those red concrete blocks. After that's done, we're going to go and take our stone blocks. And we're going to go and continue running this along the side here. So we're going to place down a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. And... We're actually going to stop a little bit shorter of that, so uh, 25, so about this point here. So let me go ahead and get a count here, over count a little bit, and in total we should have 23 blocks back from that red concrete block, so 23 blocks in total. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of 1, 2, and 3 stone ups and down stairs. Next year it's going to be a row of 4, so one more. And then we're going to take our stone top slabs and place down a row of one, two, and three stone top slabs, and then an iron trap door like that on the end there. With that done, we're going to go ahead and go to our bombs here. And on the middle of the bomb right here, so this quartz block with the stone bun, we're going to place down a birchwood fence gate and then an end rod to both sides of it. We then also want to go ahead and go off of this end rod. We're going to place down in a uh, acacia wood trap door. 
and then Keisha would slab coming off of it, and we want to switch the trapdoor so that the line's here facing forward like that. Just keep it the same with the bottom there, like so. And then our back uh, bomb here, same thing. Uh, end rods here on both sides of that center block, and then a birchwood fence gate in the very center like that. We're gonna go and go up from this Keisha wood slab, Keisha wood trap door. So just like that for the same for the bombs here in the rear. When that's done, we're gonna go ahead and now focus our attention now to these engines. Um, so for our uh, inner engines here, uh, we're gonna basically build the pylon that connects the engine to the wing. So for this, we're gonna go ahead and place down a iron trap door on top of this second stone block. Going back from it, we're gonna place down a stone slab followed by a polished andesite slab, polished andesite block, and then we want to place down one, two, three, four stone blocks back, and then we're going to place down a total of one and two stone top slabs. I have to go and finish off that pylon. After that's done, on top of this nether brick with this wither skeleton skull, we're going to place down a stone slab, followed by a second stone slab back from it, and then we want to go ahead and then place down a stone stair on top of it, or going back like that. Once um, that's done there, we're gonna go ahead and take our stone blocks. We're gonna place down a row of one and two stone blocks back. And then we wanna go ahead and take our polished andesite blocks and we're gonna place down a row of one and two polished andesite blocks back just like that. Okay guys, so real quickly, uh, we're gonna go ahead and delete this stone stair and the blocks behind it. We're actually gonna go ahead and extend this to three stone slabs, followed by a stone stair, and then the same process again. So one and two stone blocks, one and two polished andesite blocks. And then over this space right here, we're going to place down a stone block like that. Now, coming off the stone block, we're going to go and take our narrow brick slabs. We're going to place down one and two narrow brick slabs back like that. And go into the sides here of this first, uh, or the, sorry, the third stone slab here. We're going to place down an iron trap door to both sides, followed by a stone slab to both sides. Then a polished andesite, or a row two of polished andesite slabs going back. And then again, an iron trap door on both sides like that. And that right there will finish off your outer pylon or your outer engine. And we have our inner, inner, or inner engines complete and our fuselage set up for this layer. So, looking at from above, this is what we should have so far with layer six complete. As you can see, the shape's starting to take place and all that stuff. And once we get done with the next layer, we'll have the wings actually connected up to the uh, engines and all that stuff. So, anyways, that's it for layer six. Let's go ahead and move on to layer seven. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we're going to move into layer seven. Layer seven here is going to be probably the longest layer of the build, as we do pretty much build up the main portion of the wings and all that stuff. So, um, this will be a little bit of a longer layer. To go ahead and get started with here, we're going to be going ahead and going to the front of the aircraft on top of this narrow brick up sound stair, place down a narrow brick slab on top of it, followed by a second slab back. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five black concrete blocks back. With that done, we're going to go ahead and go to the sides here of this, um, this uh, narrow brick slab here on top of this narrow brick wall, and we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull at a slight angle like that. And then going back from it, we're going to place down a narrow brick wall like so. After that, a narrow brick stair, and then one and two black concrete blocks, and then a stone uh, stair like that. Once that's done, we're going to place down a coal ore block, followed by a red concrete block, just like that. And then we want to go and then place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, at 33 um, stone blocks back. And then we're going to place down 1 and 2 stone upside down stairs followed by a stone upside down corner stair and then we want to place down a row of what is going to be one and two stone top slabs back and then an iron trap door like that on the end there now once that's all finished there um, we do want to go ahead and build our center line here so we're going to go, ahead and go in between the stone stairs we're going to place down one two stone blocks followed by three and then so we have three and it should stick out one past these or right here next to these corner stairs and then we're going to place down a stone upside down stair followed by one and two stone top slabs and the iron trap door there in the center. Uh, once that's done, we have our fuselage built here and we're gonna go ahead and now work our way into the wings. So for our wings here, we're gonna start off by taking our andesite walls. We're gonna go ahead and go off of the fourth stone block back from this red concrete block. And also before I forget, on the side of this red concrete block, we're also gonna be placing down a, a dark oak wood button like that. Um, anyways, going ahead and go into our fourth stone block back from it. We're gonna take polished or andesite walls. We're gonna place down one, two, three, four, and five andesite walls. We then want to take our nether brick, we're going, to, we're going to place down a row of one and two of nether brick top slabs and then a black concrete block. Going back from the black concrete block, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen stone blocks back. We're then going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five 
polished and site blocks back. And then we're going to switch to stone top slabs. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six stone top slabs back just like that. And real quick before we move on, um, I did make a mistake. We actually want to go and delete these five polished and site blocks. We're going to go ahead and take our stone and we're going to go ahead and go back one and two and three blocks back and then we're going to go ahead and then place down one and two stone top slabs in that spot. So in total you should have a row of stone that is going to be 21 blocks in length and then on the back here should have a total of eight stone top slabs in length. So something just like that. Um, so sorry about that. Um, anyways, go ahead and continue on though. We're going to go ahead and go back up to the front here. We're going to go ahead and take our another brick top slabs and place it down come off this black concrete block like this followed by another brick top slab back and then a black concrete block. We're going to take our stone, we're going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Stone blocks back, followed by 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5 polished andesite blocks. And then we want to go and switch to stone top slabs. We're going to place down 1, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 stone top slabs back just like that. With that done, go ahead and go back up to the front here. Um, we want to go ahead and actually grab ourselves a nether brick stair and this one top slab here we're going to swap out for a nether brick upside down stair. And also this nether brick top slab here will swap out for a upside down stair as well. Uh, but anyways, once that's done, we're going to place down a nether brick top slab, come off the side of this black concrete block again. A nether brick upside down stair like that going back from it. Or sorry, just a black concrete block, my bad. And then we're going to take our stone blocks. We're going to go ahead and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Stone blocks back, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 polished andesite blocks. And then we want to place down a stone top slab, followed by a row of four, sorry, row of five of stone brick top slabs going back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, then go ahead and go back up to the front here and to the side. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some polished andesite stairs and also some polished andesite slabs. To start off with, we're going to place down a polished andesite top slab, come off this black concrete block, followed by an upside down stair behind it, and then a polished andesite full block after that. We're going to go and take our stone blocks, we're going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Stone blocks back, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 polished andesite blocks, a stone top slab, stone brick top slab, and then we're going to place down a row of 4 of the smooth stone top slabs to the side. So one, two, three, and four, just like that. Once uh, that's done, go ahead and go on up to the front here again. We're going to go ahead and go off of this polished andesite block here, place down a polished andesite top slab, polished andesite upside down stair, and then we want to go ahead and place down a polished andesite full block. From that, we're going to go and take our stone, go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen uh, stone blocks back. After that, we're going to go and place down a stone top slab, Stone brick top slab, and then one, two, three, and four polished andesite top slabs going back like so. I'm going ahead and going up to the front here again, coming off this polished andesite full block. We're going to place down a polished andesite top slab, followed by an up polished andesite upside down stair, and polished andesite full block directly behind it. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen uh, stone full blocks like this, followed by a stone brick top slab and then one two and three polished uh, or, uh, smooth stone blocks or top slabs going back like that. Once uh, that's finished there uh, we want to go ahead and go to our next row here. So for our next row I'm uh, going to go back up to the front here. We're going to place down a polished andesite top slab, come off the side of the block, polished andesite upside down stair and a polished andesite full block. And let me just go and double check here as we do connect up with the pile on here, so I'll make sure everything's correct, and yeah, that's all good. So, um, once that's done, going back from the polished dance set block, we're gonna place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen stone blocks back, stone brick top slab, and then we're gonna place down a row of one, two, and three stone smooth stone top slabs like that back. Our next row, uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to the front here again, and coming off of this polished dance set full block, place down a polished dance set upside down stair, or sorry, a polished dance set top slab followed by the upside down stair and the polished andesite full block. We're then going to take our stone blocks, go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 stone blocks back, followed by a stone brick full block, 1 and 2, spoof stone um, full blocks, or sorry, top slabs like that, and then we're going to go and drop down to its move stone slab like so. And also on the bottom here, we're going to take some iron trap doors and we're going to place some iron trap doors here. Or actually, we can't do that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and place down 
I will just leave it like that, actually. So we'll just leave it like so. Um, anyways, when that's done, we're going to continue our way working out to the side here. Alright guys, go ahead and continuing on. We're going to go ahead and place down a polished dancite slab coming off this polished dancite full block here, followed by a polished dancite there directly behind it. We then want to take our stone blocks, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, and let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six stone blocks back. Um, we then want to go ahead and place down a row of one and two of stone stairs, and then one and two stone slabs, followed by a stone brick um, slab here on the very end. Alright guys, so going ahead and continuing on, we're going to start off by placing down a polished dancelight slab, coming off this full block here, followed by a polished dancelight stair back like that, and then we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten uh, stone blocks back. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a stone brick stair. We're going to place down a stone brick stair right here. Followed by a row of one, two, and three of smooth stone slabs like that going back. And we'll have that right there for the flaps. Once that's done, go into our next row here. We're going to go to the stone block, place down a polished andesite slab, followed by a polished andesite stair. And then we want to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to be... Actually, sorry, a row of four here of polished andesite full blocks, or sorry, stone full blocks. We're then going to place down one and two stone stairs, and then one and two stone slabs back like this, followed by a stone brick slab, and then we're going to go ahead and have a row of one, two, and three smooth stone slabs like that going back. Um, when that's done, we're going to go ahead and go to our next row here, and out to the side, we're going to go and take iron trap doors, and we're going to place down uh, one and two iron trap doors come out the polished andesite slab and polished andesite. Um, stair like so. We then want to go ahead and place down a polished andesite slab, going back from that, followed by a. Um, actually, we can go and delete this first iron trap door, so we just have something that looks like this. So, after that slab, we're going to go ahead and go back with one, two, three, four. Or, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stone slabs back, stone brick slab, and then we're going to place down one and two smooth stone slabs like that for the back there. Going out to our row to the side here, we're going to place down a polished andesite slab, followed by a second slab behind it, and then we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five stone slabs back, and then a row of three of stone brick slabs. Our next row here, going ahead and go into this stone slab here, we're going to place down a polished andesite slab to the side, followed by a second polished andesite slab back, and then one, two, three, four, five, and six stone slabs back. Again, going to the side here, we're going to place down one and two polished andesite slabs, and one, two, three, and four stone slabs back. After that's done, we're going to go off of this stone slab, place that stone slab out of the side, and then one, two, three, back, so you row four, and then we're going to go, and go off the third and fourth stone slabs, place down two slabs like that out to the side there, so you look something like that. Anyways, uh, that right there will do it for your wings. Here's what it looks like from up above here with this layer complete. As you can see, again, really the shape starting to take shape, and um, all that stuff. Anyways, that's it for what we have here for layer number seven. And with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number eight. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer eight. For layer eight, to go ahead and get started with here, we'd be going ahead and going to the nose of the aircraft. We're going to go to the third black concrete block back from the previous layer. We're going to place down an air brick slab on top of it, followed by an air brick stair directly behind it, and then one and two black concrete blocks directly back from it. On both sides of this air brick stair here, we're going to place down an air brick slab. And we want to go ahead and then take our narrow brick stairs and we're going to place down one, two narrow brick stairs like this and then narrow brick corner stair like that. Once that's done, we're going to place down a row of one and two of stone blocks, followed by three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. And we're going to go and do 40 and 41 back like that. After that, we're going to be placing down a uh, stone top slab like this. And in the middle space here, we're going to go ahead and go on top of this iron trap door, place down a stone block, followed by a second one back, followed by two stone top slabs. So it should stick out by one here in the back like that. And then we just want to have an iron trap door on both sides of that last top slab there on the rear, rear there, like so. Going back up to the front here, we want to go ahead and go to our third stone block back, we're going to place down a polished dance or just dance wall to the side, followed by a second one back, and then we want to place down a row of one, two, three of stone blocks, and then one, two, and three of our andesite walls. When that's done, we're going to place down a row of two 
of narrow brick slabs, followed by a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen stone slabs back like that. We're going to go ahead and take iron trap doors, and we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight iron trap doors back, and then we're going to place down one, two, and three stone slabs back like so along the side there. For our next row out to the side, we're going to go ahead and place down an iron trap door on top of this narrow brick up down stair, and then a narrow brick slab that goes back from it. We're going to take our stone slabs, and we're going to place down row of one, two, three, four, five, and six stone slabs back followed by a polished andesite slab, and then one, two, three, and four, stone slabs back again, and then one, two, three, and four, narrow brick slabs back like that, and then we just want to very simply place down a black carpet on top of that stone block. Again, going up to this side here, uh, we're going to go to this black concrete block, place down a narrow brick slab, followed by a second slab back from it, and then we want to place down a row of one and two of stone slabs back. We're then going to place down a row of one, two, and three of polished andesite slabs, and then a row of one, two, three, and four of stone slabs, followed by a narrow brick slab. And then we're just going to place down two stone slabs after the narrow brick slab, so one, two. Again, going up to the front here, coming off this narrow brick slab from the side here, we're going to place down a iron trap door. And then going back from the trap door, we're going to take our polished andesite slabs and place down one, two, three, four, and five. After that, we're going to place down a row of five of stone, so one, two, three, four, actually, sorry, row of four, and then a narrow brick slab like that on the end there. Our next row here, we're going to go, ahead and go off of the third uh, polished andesite slab. We're going to place down a narrow brick slab like this, followed by a second one back. And then we want to place down a row of one, two, and three of stone blocks back. And then from this point here, uh, we're going to take black carpet. We're going to go ahead and go off of this narrow brick slab to the side here, one, two, and three black carpets. And actually, sorry, it's going to be four. So four black carpets to the side here should, should end right before this polished andesite stair. We're going to go ahead and go one carpet forward, go in at an angle, one carpet, one forward, in at an angle, one carpet, and one forward like that. So you should get that diagonal line there along the side there, and this is what it should look like from up above for this layer. Anyways, that right there will uh, wrap up that layer for the main building blocks of the fuselage. I'm going to go ahead and real quickly uh, grab a loom and some banners, and I'm going to show you guys how to make this little banner design here on the side for the uh, kind of paint job here for the nose. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and move into those banners. Alright guys, so we're going ahead and making these banners. Really, sim really simple and really straightforward to do. We're going to go ahead and put a loom down, go into the loom, and we're going to place down a light gray banner. We're going to go ahead and take our black dye, and we're going to go ahead and do a line across the top here of black dye. We're going to go ahead and grab that banner, and we're going to go ahead and hold on to it. We're going to go ahead and take another light gray banner and do the same exact thing. So just like this, and our black line across, and we have these two banners. Now all we need to do is to first take the one of these banners and we're going to be placing this on both sides here of this stone block. So this first one right here right after the narrow brick corner stair. Now from this point we're going to go ahead and take both our banners, we're going to go back into our loom and we're going to go this time take our light gray die and put it in the table. Now we want to go and do the kind of like the slant here, it's kind of like this triangle shape here where it closes off the side here like so. The reason we made two of these banners is because we need two different ones for both sides. So we're going to start off with going ahead and doing the triangle here that goes up the right side of the banner like this. And we're going to go ahead and select the light gray banner, put it back into our inventory, and we're going to take our other banner and do the same thing, but this time on the opposite side. So it's going to be like with the triangle here with the side back of it or this side here on the left side. And we'll go ahead and take those two banners and we should get two banners that look like that. Now the banner here on the side is going to have the triangle to the right side, so just like that. And then over here on the left side, we're going to have the triangle here to the left side. And just like that, you have this little banner design there. Pretty straightforward stuff, nothing too crazy. With that out of the way, that's it for those banners. And we can go ahead and then move into our next layer, which is going to be layer number 8. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we'll be going ahead and moving into layer number 9 actually. So, I bet on that we were on layer 8. For some reason, I messed up my layers, uh, keeping track of those for this tutorial for some reason. Uh, but anyways, to go ahead and get started here, we're going to place down a narrow brick stair on top of this second um, black concrete block from the previous layer. And then we're going to place down one, two, and three light gray stainless full blocks back from the stair. When that's finished, we're going to go ahead and place down a long row of stone blocks going all the way toward the tail here. And in total, this is going to be 43 blocks in length. Two stone blocks should stick out past the stone top slab here from the previous layer. After that, we're going to place down a stone top slab and come off that end of the row and then an iron trap door like so. So again, 43 blocks, stone top slab, iron trap door. 
With that done, going ahead and moving back up to the front here, we're going to go to the sides of these first two light gray stained glass bars. We're going to place down two light gray stained glass panes, followed by a light gray stained glass full block after those glass panes. We then want to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 stone blocks back. We're going to go and switch to stone stairs. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 stone stairs. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21, uh, and 22 actually, stone blocks back, and then a stone upside down stair, like that. With that done, uh, that's there for our fuselage. We're going to go ahead and go back up to the front here. We're going to go ahead and go up from this polished anisite block here. We're going to place down a polished, or we're going to place down a polished, or I keep saying polished anisite walls, but we're going to place down an anisite wall up like this. And then one, two, three, four, and five back like that along the side there for the kind of like the bulge part here on both sides. And we also want to place down a acacia wood button here on both sides of this stone block here. Also going down to the nose, I noticed uh, before that we actually want to place down a uh, dark oak wood sign on both sides of this narrow brick top slab. And also on top of the top slab, um, it would be best to go ahead and take a black carpet and place down a black carpet on top of it like that. Um, so that's something you can go ahead and add on there to the nose. Now that's pretty much it for this layer. However, we do have these banners here on the side that I do want to show you guys how to make. So I'm going to go and show you guys how to make these uh, banners here for this little like Air Force, or not Air Force, but just like this little uh, US aircraft logo that they put on the side of the aircraft. And um, I'll show you guys how to make that real quick. All right guys, so to go ahead and make this logo, it's real simple. We're just going to go ahead and go into a loom. We're going to take a white banner and we're going to go ahead and then place down a piece of red dye in it. We're going to go and do the little line that goes across the middle like so. We're going to go ahead and grab that banner, switch out our dye for uh, light gray dye, which I grabbed the wrong color dye. So let me go ahead and grab the correct dye, which is going to be light gray. And let's see right here. We're going to go into our loom again, put our banner back in there. Light gray dye, we're going to go and select the bottom, or the, sorry, the top of light gray like basically a stripe that goes across the top there and then also the bottom like so so we go ahead and we get this banner here that has the two white stripes and the red stripe across the middle there with that finished we're going to go back into our loom we're going to place down a blue banner this time in the loom and then our light gray dye we want to go ahead and select the bottom left box and also the top left box like this and that's going to complete that banner like so and then going back into our loom our last banner here we're going to go and put a blue banner back in the loom we're going to put our light gray dye we're going to do the same thing but opposite side so bottom right and top right and we get these two banners like so we're going to go ahead and then go to our sides we're going to go to this first inner side wall we're going to place down the um banner stripe banner like this followed by the blue banner like that the second blue banner and then the banner there with the stripe again so just like that on the side there and over here on this side, it'll be just like that. So again, pretty straightforward there, nothing too crazy with the banners. Now, after that though, um, we do have the writing here in US Air Force. Now I'm not gonna show you guys exactly how to make these letters. I'll be linking a tutorial down in the description where I actually got the design for these letter banners. And you can go and follow that to uh, make the banners you need here. But we have the U, uh, dot, S, dot, and then we have a space. We have the A, I, R, space, F, O, R, C, E. Um, so for U.S. Air Force here on the side, and we want to start this here uh, basically on our fourth stone block back right here. So that's where our first U is going to be. It's going to be like this across here. And I'm going to show you guys what it's going to look like on the other side as well. So over here on the right side of the aircraft, we want the letters to read from left to right. So we do need to start the, the U here at a different block. So after our stone stairs here, we're going to count one, two, three, and four, our fourth stone block back. We're going to be placing down the U on the side of the aircraft. And we're going to build it basically just like we did on the air side here. So same lettering all the way. And it should end at the same point that this side over here begins with the U. So um, definitely make sure that that reads correctly on both sides. Um, and all that fun stuff. But once you have those banners made from the tutorial, you can go ahead and do that. Put that on both sides there for the writing. And um, with that, that will pretty much be it for what we have here for layer number uh, 9 for the build. With that, let's move into layer number 10. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 10. For layer 10, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to be going ahead and going to the top here. On top of this first light gray stainless block, we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door. Narrow brick slab back, stone slab back, and then one and two stone full blocks back. After that, we're going to place down a stone brick wall, stone block, stone brick full block, stone brick slab, stone slab, 
two stone brick slabs, two stone slabs, and then three iron trap doors back. We're then going to go ahead and skip a space of one, two, three, four, and five. We're going to go and then place down an iron trap door, followed by a second iron trap door, then one, two, three, four, and five stone slabs, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty stone blocks back. Should should stick out one past this iron trap door, followed by a stone or sorry, a skeleton skull on the back here, and then an end rod like that coming off of it. With that done, go ahead and move it back up to the front. We're going to place down a wither skeleton skull at about a 45 degree angle on this light gray stained glass pane. And then going back from it, we're going to place down a narrow brick slab. We then want to place down a stone brick stair, followed by a stone brick stair coming off the stair. So you have a corner stair and then a regular stair. And then going back from this regular stair, we're going to place down one and two uh, more stone stairs. So you have a row of three. We're going to place down a stone brick corner stair coming off that stair, followed by a stone brick slab, stone slab, stone brick slab. And then a row of one and two iron trap doors back. Going to the tail here, we're gonna go ahead and go to the second stone slab here, place down one and two iron trap doors to the side, and then one, two, and three stone slabs. After which we're gonna place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stone stairs, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stone blocks, and then one, two, and three uh, inside walls, and then skeleton school on the end there, like that. After that's done, we want to go ahead and then go back up to the front here. We're going to go ahead and go to this inside wall. We're going to place down a skeleton skull at a slight angle like that, followed by a regular skeleton skull like this, and then another skeleton skull about a another similar kind of slight angle like so. And with that all done, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer 10. We're going to go ahead and move into our final layers now, which will be basically evolving, building the vertical stabilizer onto the aircraft. Anyways, with that, let's go ahead and move into our final layers. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our final layers, we have layers 11 through 20. And these right here are going to be basically involving completely building the vertical stabilizer. For us to go and begin with, it's easier for us to go and start on the back here. So that's where we're going to go ahead and start to begin with. We're going to go and place down a iron trap door on top of this second stone block here, followed by a stone slab going forward of it. We then want to take our uh, smooth stone blocks. We're going to make one and two smooth stone full blocks, followed by a stone brick block. And then we want to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight stone blocks forward. We're then going to, we're then going to place down a. Um, actually, we're going to go and do seven stone blocks forward, followed by a stone slab, and then one and two iron trap doors. And I'm going to go ahead and just make sure that this is positioned correctly, and that is so that's good to go on that front. Um, we also want to go ahead and. Actually, uh, yeah, that's it for that layer, so that's actually good. I um, thought there was more thing, but no, we're good. Um, anyways, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go up from this uh, stone, or this uh, smooth stone block. We're going to place down a stone block up from it, and then we want to go ahead and go one back, and then we're going to place down a stone slab, and then a skeleton skull. Now, on both sides of the stone slab, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a birchwood trapdoor, and we're going to place down a birchwood trapdoor on both sides of the stone slab. With that done, we're going to go ahead and take our stone uh, blocks and we're going to go ahead and go from this block here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks forward, and then we're going to place down a stone stair like so. Now on the sides here, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull on both sides of this stone block here, and then we want to place down a row of one, two, and three inside walls, or sorry, four inside walls along the side here, and then their skeleton skull. And same thing over here, skeleton school, and one, two, three, four hand walls. Going ahead and building up to our next layer, uh, we're going to go and place down a stone brick upside down stair, which is going to go ahead and go on top of this stone block here, like that. And then we want to place down a smooth stone block like that going forward. Um, when that's done, we're going to go and take our stone blocks and place down one, two, three, four, five, six stone blocks going toward the front here and then the stone stair like so. When we get to this uh, layer here, we're going to go ahead and place down one and two smooth stone blocks up like this, followed by one, two, three, four um, stone blocks forward, and then we're going to go and switch to polished andesite. So we're going to grab ourselves a polished andesite uh, block here and also stair. We're going to place down a polished andesite stair and block like so. 
going up to our next layer, uh, we're going to place down a stone full block up like this, followed by a stone brick block directly after it. And then also these two stone blocks we're going to swap out for stone brick blocks. So just like that. Um, once that's done, we're going to go and take our stone blocks. We're going to go forward one, two, and three forward. We're then going to place down a polished andesite block and then a polished andesite stair. Going up from this polished andesite block, we're going to place down a polished andesite stair, followed by a polished andesite block behind it. Then one and two stone blocks, followed by a stone brick block, and then a smooth stone slab block on the end there with a stone brick upside down stair coming off of it like that on the back. Our next row up, we're going to place down a polished andesite stair, followed by a polished andesite full block directly behind it. We're going to place down a row of one and two of stone blocks back, followed by a stone brick block, and then a smooth stone uh, or smooth stone slab full block like that. On top of this polished nanosite block, we're going to place down polished nanosite stair, followed by a row of one and two stone blocks back, a stone brick stair, and then a uh, smooth stone slab full block, and then a stone brick upside down stair come off that smooth slab full block. We then want to go ahead and go up from the stone block, place down a polished nanosite stair, followed by one, two, three, and four polished nanosite blocks back, and then again going up a polished nanosite stair on top of this one, and then one, two, and three polished andesite blocks that go up like that for your vertical stabilizer. And lastly, uh, to go ahead and cover uh, putting the tail number on the aircraft, you guys can choose whatever numbers you guys want. Uh, for this example, I just have this tail number here. Again, you guys can choose whatever you guys want, but uh, there will, I will be linking a tutorial down in the description also that shows you guys how to make the numbered banners, very similar to how the letter banners were designed. So you can go and put whatever tail number you want on the back here. But for really simple, it's positioned by going ahead and going this stone brick wall, or the stone brick block over here on the right side of the aircraft. We're going to place down our first number, second, third, uh, fourth, and fifth number like that on the side here. And then over here on the left side, we're going to go and start with whatever number we placed first. So this one right here, over here on this polished inside block, and then same thing on the side here. So you can go and choose again whatever tail number you want. Um, that's just what I use for example. And uh, with that, that's going to pretty much uh, wrap up the in-flight version of the B-58 Hustler. We're going to go ahead and now move into the landed version. So if you do want to build the landed version, you will have that possibility now. Um, but with that, that's it for the in-flight version. We're going to now move on to the landed version. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our landing gear. For our landing gear, we're going to be going ahead and starting off with the front uh, nose gear. Now, also, just to make sure everything is correct and ready to go, we should have a total of one block of space between the very bottom here of this fuel pod and the ground and also this top slab here should be basically a half slab away from the ground. Um, it does sit very close, it's a very tight fit, but that's pretty much how it is with this um, aircraft. So um, anyways, it does look like it sits really high and the aircraft actually really does. So it kind of is weird in that kind of sense. Like you can see here, for example, the landing gear we have over here on the model over there, you can see it sits really dang high. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be going ahead and going to the bottom here. We're gonna go ahead and delete or we're going to go to the one stone block before the red line here. And we're going to go ahead and skip this block and then go to the second. We're going to delete this block, the third, and the fourth block like so. Now with that out of the way, we can go ahead and take our quartz block. We're going to go and fill in the space right here for quartz full block. And then uh, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some diorite walls. So real quickly, wherever these are located, as I struggle to find them, they're actually over here. Um, we're going to go ahead and place down a diorite wall that goes down like this. We're going to go ahead and go and skip a space, place down near a diorite wall. And then we're going to go and skip a space again and place down a quartz up sound stair like so. On the bottom of the quartz up sound stair, we're going to place down a quartz top slab with a block of concrete here, or a block of uh, coal here to both sides. Uh, on the both side of the block of coal, we're going to be going ahead and grab ourselves a stone button. We're going to place down a stone button. Um, item frame and in the item frame a white stained glass pane like so same thing over here as well Just like that now uh, once that's done on top of this upside down Stair we're gonna place down an anvil followed by a skeleton skull to both sides and then come off the back of the stair We're gonna place down a stone button going up from this on this uh, Diorite wall here. We're gonna place down a item frame and in the item frame. We're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a snow ball And we're gonna place down a snowball in the item frame like this for the landing gear lights Going up from the skeleton schools, we're going to place down one and two end rods like this, one and two. And then for this space right here, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a birchwood fence gate. We're going to place down a birchwood fence gate on top of this wall and have it f opened up toward the rear there. And then coming off this fence gate toward the front, we're going to place down a uh, quartz 
slab like this and then quartz top slab and also on the inside here we can go and place down one and two top slabs like that to go, that, go ahead and fill that space in and with that done you have your front landing gear set up and good to go so it should look something just like this we're gonna go and now move on to the rear ones all right guys so going ahead and moving into the rear landing gear now the rear landing gear is a little bit more involved we have a little bit more going on here but still um is pretty straightforward nothing too crazy um, anyways, for us to go ahead and get started here, we're going to be going ahead and going to this polished anti block. We're going to skip the stone block and then we're going to go to this stone block right before it. And we're going to delete this block. Now we're going to then delete one out to the side and one going toward the inside like this. So you row three. We're going to go ahead and then, then delete uh, three more rows of three going forward. Just like this for stone block. So you basically have a square opened up here of basically a four by three um, square here. Now when that's done, we're going to take our quartz top slabs, we're going to place down a row of three across, followed by a quartz top slab, quartz full blocking top slab, and then we're going to place down two rows of three quartz top slabs like that going across there. Now once that's done, we need to go ahead and go ahead and grab ourselves a die right wall. We're going to go and take our die right wall and go in down from this quartz full block, we're going to place down one and two die right walls. We're going to go ahead and skip a space, and then place down a quartz ups and down stair. On top of the quartz ups and down stair, we're going to place down an anvil. With a skeleton skull on both sides of it like so and then going up from the skeleton skulls we're going to place down one and two end rods one and two and actually on the top here we're going to swap out these quartz top subs here for quartz stairs on both sides of that quartz full block with that finished uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a uh, end rod that's going to be coming off these end rods here to both sides and then right here in the middle space here we're going to place down a quartz slab like so uh, when that's done, going ahead and going up from this, uh, or coming off this anvil, we're going to place down a spoof quartz upside down stair. And then we're going to place down an air upside down stair, going up at an angle, and an air stair like that. So it connects up right there for the support here for the landing gear. And then on the bottom of this stair, we're going to place down a die right wall, followed by a quartz top slab like that. And then on going back from these quartz top slab at an angle here, we're going to place down uh, some black uh, coal blocks like that to both sides there. And on the sides of them, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a stone button. And like we did for the front ones, also a light gray or a white stained glass pane. So stone buttons, our item frames, and our white stained glass panes. Same thing over here as well. Just like that. And that right there will complete that uh, landing gear. Actually, one last thing um, I want to check here is in between here. And all it is is just placing down some skeleton skulls here coming off that quartz top slab and with that all complete that is going to wrap up our back landing gear you can go and take the same design flip it over to the other side and you'll have both your rear landing gear set up and complete anyways that right there is going to complete my tutorial for the uh, convair b58 hustler both the in-flight and landed versions hopefully you guys did enjoy this uh, build and this tutorial um, I definitely think the aircraft came out really good and is going to make an awesome addition to any of your worlds. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Again, a big thanks to Jerk Barnes for making this tutorial possible. And feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link, again, link is always down in the description of every video. Other than that, uh, that's it for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.